from getting up the stairs to just eating lunch. There was no easy days for Ross Whiteman. It's an absolute grind. Every day, every day is a grind. For the past year, he's had Guillain-Barre syndrome, a rare disorder that's caused partial paralysis and taken a toll on the family. My oldest is big into baseball. He and I just, you know, that's one of my favorite things to do is just playing catch in the yard and I, I can't do that, so. Little by little, he's gaining more strength and mobility. But his biggest victory came in the form of a letter confirming his condition was likely triggered by the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. It has been determined by our medical review board that there is a probable causal association. And that was quite vindicating. Just, you know, it doesn't change my condition or, you know, the way... I feel overly, it's just, uh, it's just nice to have. Adverse reactions to COVID-19 vaccinations are exceptionally rare. Of more than 11.7 million doses of coronavirus vaccines administered in BC, there have been just 10 incidents linked to GBS. I'm obviously a very strong believer in the safety of vaccines. Uh, they go through rigorous phase three trials but rare events can happen. Canada launched its vaccine injury support program last year, so the small number that do get hurt can be compensated. We needed to hold up our end of the bargain, and that was making sure that these individuals um, were treated fairly if something untoward were to happen. The maximum injury benefit is about $275,000 in addition to medical expenses and up to $90,000 in lost wages. Whiteman, a former pilot, says he didn't qualify for the full injury payout and plans to appeal. I don't know what number I can say is enough, but uh, I'm not sure that's the one. That's not something that I'm overly excited about. A new fight that could prove to be an uphill battle, but it's something that he's used to. John Hernandez, CBC News, Lake Country.